there you have it. I lashed it all together. I should hold that top pretty secure. Yeah, kind of. Welcome back. We are today doing a quick project. This week, this weekend, next few days anyway. Um, my brothers and sisters are gonna be in town. We're gonna go do some partying together. Gonna go do a little playing. Um, we rented a cabin that we're all gonna go to and up in the mountains and have some fun. But in the meantime, before we get to that, we got one quick project that I wanna do. And that is to get a better watering system for these pigs. Currently, we're watering them in this tire right there. As you can see, they like to lie in it. They'll push all the water out, try to lie down the water, they get it full of mud, they dig holes. This is where the tire used to be, is now a giant crater. So, we gotta remedy that. We're gonna build a system um, that we can put a nipple on that they can drink out of that way so that we don't have to fight with them dumping their water out all the time and wallowing in the water that they're supposed to be drinking. So that's going to be our project for today. Hopefully we can knock it out pretty quick and then we can get to playing. So the idea we got with, we're going to use this PVC pipe. It's like an eight inch PVC. Um, we're going to connect this nipple water to it. And this PVC all said and done, um, once we fill it up a little bit with concrete to keep it sealed, we'll hold about 10 gallons of water. Each one of these pigs should be drinking somewhere between a gallon to a gallon and a half of water a day, which will make this last day, day and a half maybe, um, which is fine. We can fill it up once a day. This tire that we have, we're already filling up like two and three times a day because they just dump it out. So if we can just fill it up once a day, that would be awesome. So the idea is I'm gonna dig this down a little bit so that they can't tip it over so we can bury it back. We're gonna fill it part way up with concrete, drill a hole to put our nipple waterer in, and then we're done. That's it. How tall are you? We are gonna put this piece up at about 18 inches off the ground. So I'm gonna have this sitting flat on the ground. Um, we'll probably have to, we might have to prop it up with some T-posts. Hopefully that works out well that way. I don't wanna make, necessarily make this permanent. And if I bury this in the ground a whole bunch, then I lose half of my pipe and we'll cut it down to like six gallons or something and then we won't work to even run it for one whole day, at which point we might as well just keep doing what we're doing. So we're gonna put this at 18 inches off the ground and that should be high enough for the pigs to reach it just fine. And then we can go set it in place. Um, I'm probably gonna have to block it off with some electric fence until the concrete inside of it cures. And then we'll see what happens. Hopefully the pigs don't just knock it over a whole bunch. For this nipple end, I just have, pull this whole thing apart, hold on. For this nipple, we got the pig nipple, which connects to this coupler, which then will connect to this nipple. I'm gonna put a flat washer on the outside, a rubber washer, that will go like this, into my hole. On the other side, we'll have another flat washer, or rubber washer, followed by a flat washer, followed by another coupler to hold it tight. I gotta go find me some Teflon tape to get this all sealed up though, so I'll be back. I gotta eat some delicious berries. <laughs> Like a tortoise. <laughs> What's 
from. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Turtle, turtle. Fresh berries. How many layers of Teflon tape is sufficient? Two, three, 15, don't know. We put about three layers on there. Hopefully that's not too much. After I dry fitted this one time, I had to bag that flat washer on the inside. It wasn't conforming well enough to the pipe to get a good seal. Also, my nipple in the middle was not big enough, so I could not get the couplers on either side of it with that PVC in the middle. So we bagged the one in the middle. Seems like it's sealing up pretty good. Hopefully it works because once I get the concrete in there, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach in to adjust it at all. It's super tight now. It's not going anywhere. So, if it works, it works. If not, I guess we'll figure out another plan. We've given this a couple days for the concrete to set on this. Um, even after that, it's still just a little bit wobbly. So before we actually turn the pigs out on it, I am gonna have to brace it up with some T-post. But one thing I did that we didn't show real well, is I put this piece of twine down there. That is connected to some duct tape that's covering the hole where the water should come out hopefully to keep it from filling full of concrete. So, if I did this right, I should be able to just pull this up, duct tape will come off, hole will be empty. We'll see what happens. Well, that was a good idea in theory. My string must be just enough in the concrete that it's not pulling on the duct tape at all, it's just pulling on the concrete. The other thing I did was I left this nipple on here loose so that I can just back it out and stick something through there to break through that uh, duct tape if, I, if this happened. I kind of anticipated that this might be the deal. up all the way. The only leak that there is is right around that nipple where I didn't put any Teflon. Once it's empty again we'll seal that up and should be good. I think I am just going to quickly put something to brace this up. Um, I don't have the hardware I need for it or really the wood that I need for it but we're gonna use some of the scrap stuff we've got lying around and I'm just gonna lash it on there with some twine. We're gonna go Boy Scout style. There you have it. I lashed it all together. I should hold that top pretty secure. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. Hang on, we'll fix this. All right, we got it for real this time. There ain't nothing moving that. That thing is rock solid. So, we are done for today. 
for the week. It's now time to go play. I'd like to dedicate this project and all of the Boy Scout lashing to Kevin Shiley and Dean Miyasaki, some of the best scout leaders that a 12 year old could ever have. Anyway, we're off to go spend time with family. So enough reminiscing about when I was 12 years old. I wake up in the morning in this great blue state Golden fingers caress my face Slips through the window on a silky breeze A dreamer's line to plant some seeds All my doubts A lighted mirror Reflecting out Every true potential A bedrock belief In a library To set this bird free Every element is fixed Every color is attached She paints pictures blue and green And I release them to the sea For the ancient memory just as fleeting as a breeze She paints a picture blue and green And I will lease them to the sea I might fly off the end I will lay in the sunset Walk out in June The body sings And I join the tune All the sirens calling Rose leave their trees, but a peace pervades us in the dreamer's dream. From every element of face, every color that's attached, she paints pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea for the ancient memories. Just as fleeting as a breeze, she paints pictures blue and green, and I release them to the sea. Found this cool old soda can. I think must be from the 60s. Black Cherry Shasta. You see the top, they had to open it up like that. <laughs> 